Hi, kindergartners. Welcome, or if this is your first time, welcome to our lesson. We're so excited you're here. Hi, kindergartners. Welcome back to Making Meaning Lesson. My name is Mrs. Wheeler, and I teach kindergarten at Hazel Wolf K-8. Hi, my name is Miss Choi, and I also teach kindergartners at Hazel Wolf K-8. I'm so excited to see you today in this video. Yeah, guess what? In the videos this week, you get two teachers, Ms. Wheeler and Ms. Choi. So exciting. So you're going to see both of us doing different parts throughout the lesson. We want to tell you some of the things you're going to need, or maybe you're going to see. You're going to need your brain, so get your brain ready to do your best thinking. We might stop and ask you to do some thinking during our lesson. We might hold up a sign like this that says, think time. Now, Ms. Choi, what are they going to do when they see this think time sign? What are kindergartners supposed to do? So you're going to stop and you're going to think. You're going to spend the time to think about your ideas and thoughts to share with your partners. We also may ask you to turn and talk to your partner, just like we do in the classroom. And you might see a sign like this. But wait a minute, we're not in the classroom and I don't have a partner. Ms. Choi, what can they do? Mrs. Willer, you can bring your stuffies and then you can share with your stuffies. Or you mm -hmm. can talk- Stuffy, to maybe. Mm -hmm. And then you can talk to your family member or siblings or you can talk to your pet, or even you can talk to yourself, or the last thing you can talk, you can pretend calling to Mrs. Villa and Miss Choi. But it's most important, students, that you are comfortable talking in whatever language you feel your best that you can do your talking in. So you might talk in English, like I'm comfortable talking in English with my family at home. Miss Choi, what about you? What language are you most comfortable talking in? I use Korean in my home, and I talk to my family member in Korean. So I'll speak and share my ideas in Korean while I do the turn and talk in this lesson. Yep, it's super important that you're talking about what you're learning and what you're reading. So make sure you're talking with your family members. All right, are you guys ready? You ready? Okay. And to get started, we're gonna jump right into our lesson and you're gonna see both of us. Okay, here we go, kindergartners. Okay, I'll see you in the next slide. All right, readers, it's time for Making Meaning lesson with Miss Choi, with me. And then you're going to see Mrs. Wheeler later in her vocabulary lesson. Are you ready? Great. So today you're going to hear some parts of nonfiction book again. And then you're going to retell key details from the book. And we'll also wonder about the book. And then we'll use some text features to help us to understand the book today. All right. Are you ready? Let's get started. Right, readers, so in the last video, we read a book about, yes, dolphins. Do you see our cover page of the book? Yes, we read a nonfiction book about dolphins and we wondered about dolphins. Remember, as we read, we were wondering about dolphins and things that we wanted to know about dolphins, remember? Yes, and we also made a Oops, chart. Things we wonder about dolphins. So we were wondering what do they eat and what do they look like and where do they live? And we were also wondering how big are they? So we, we had different wonders about dolphins. But readers, but what else are you still wondering about dolphins? What else are you still wondering about dolphins. I want you to think first. I'm wondering Ooh, readers. I'm hearing different wonders in I hear readers talking about where can we find them? I know we've we learned from the book that dolphins live in ocean and swimming and playing in the ocean, but which ocean or where can we find them or which ocean we can find dolphins? Oh, I hear that wonderings. So I'll add that in our list. Here, where can we find them? Can we find 
them. Here, so I added in our list. Where can we find them? So which ocean can we find dolphins maybe? Yeah. Yeah, and readers, remember that nonfiction book have extra information that can help readers to learn about things and what they wonder, remember? Yeah, so today we're going to look at some text features or some of the ways dolphins, the book dolphins gives extra information. Are you ready? Are you ready to look at those information? All right, let's get started. All right, readers, let's look at this page all together. This is the page or this is the part where readers can get extra information from the nonfiction book. Or this is the one of the way that we can get extra information about dolphins. So let's look at the title of this page together. Index. Index. Ooh, it's an index page. Remember readers, index helps readers to find information in a nonfiction book. So when we look at the index page, we can find more information in a nonfiction book. So let's see what we have in our index page. Here, first one, blowholes in page 11. So readers, this tells us that readers can find information about blowholes on page 11. And there are other stuff that we can find about dolphins in each page. But first of all, let's see what information we can find on page 11 about blowholes. All right, readers, let's look at this page all together, page 11, to see if we can find information about blowholes. So let me reread this page. Dolphins have flippers. They breathe air through a hole on the top of their head. So, readers, what did you learn about blowholes from what I just read? What did you learn about blowholes from what I just read? Turn and talk. I learned. Readers, let's come back. Oh, readers, I heard that you learned that dolphins breathe air through the blowholes or the hole on the top of its head, right? Do you see a blowhole in the picture? Yes, the so dolphins breathe air through a blowhole. All right, readers, let's come back to index page again and see if we can find another information or other informations about dolphins from the index page. So here, we just found out information about blowholes on page 11 from the index page, right? So let's see what else we have in our index page. So I see kelps on page 14, slippers on page 11, food page 12 and 17. So that means we can find information about food on both page 12 and 17. In oceans, page 6 and 17, playing on page 17, pods on page 14, skin on page 8, swimming on page 17, and teeth on page 9. So readers, which of these things do you want to hear about? Which of these things do you want to hear about? Let's think. All right, readers, let's come back. Oh, I hear readers were saying, oh, Miss Choi, I want to hear more about food. And I also heard, Miss Choi, I want to hear more about swimming and playing. And I also heard the readers were saying, oh, Miss Choi, I want to hear more about cows on page 14. So readers, let's look at the page 14 and see if we can find more information about cows. All right, here's page 14. Let's read this page to find information about caps. 
Here, let me reread this page. A baby dolphin is called a calf. A calf lives with other dolphins in a pod. So reader, what did you learn about calf from what I just read? What did you learn about calf from what I just read? Turn and talk. Okay, readers, let's come back. I heard that readers learned that baby dolphin is called a calf. So we, we call baby dolphins calves, right? And I also heard that readers said, oh, we call baby cow as a calf too. So they have the same name for baby dolphins and baby cow, right? Okay, readers, let's come back to index page again and see what else we want to know more about dolphins or what information we want to hear about. And I heard that many of you, many of readers said, Oh, Miss Choi, I want to hear or I want to know more about food. Food. I see food over here and we can find information about food on page 12 and 17. So, Let's look at page 12 and 17 together. All right, so readers, let's look at this page 12 together to find information about food. Let me reread this page. Dolphins eat small fish. They eat other little ocean animals too. So readers, what did you learn about food from what I just read? What did you learn about food from what I just read? Turn and talk. All right, readers, let's come back. So, I heard readers learn that dolphins eat small fish and they also eat other little ocean animals so we learned what dolphins eat or what foods dolphins eat and remember um, we can find information about food on two pages right remember page 12 and 17 so we just look at the page 12 and now let's look at page 17 to find out more information about food so here is page 17 let me reread this page. Dolphins like to swim in the ocean. They play and eat all day. So, readers, what did you learn about food from what I just read? What did you learn about food from what I just read? Turn and talk. Yes, so in this page, readers learn that they play and eat all day. So they play and eat all day. Got it, readers. So readers, we just looked at the index page where we can find information in a nonfiction book. Here, here's another way that we readers can find information or learn more about dolphins in a nonfiction book. Here's the title of the page. Picture a dolphin. Picture a dolphin. So this is a picture of dolphin with labels that name the different parts of the dolphin's body. Remember, readers, that nonfiction books often have labeled pictures that give extra information to help readers understand the books. Right? Remember? So let's read each labels together. Here, blow a hole. You see blue hole over here, or here's the zoomed image. And here's mouth pointing to the mouth, and eyes here, and ears. Do you see little dots right next to eyes? And teeth, do you see teeth? And flippers, flippers pointing to this, and fin over here and tail over here and here's another image of tail 
and skin. Skin. So, readers, what parts of dolphin's body did you hear about in the book? Readers, what parts of the dolphin's body did you hear about in the book? Or what do you remember about them? What do you remember about them? Turn and talk. Okay, readers, let's come back. I hear readers, he just read in the book that dolphin's skin is smooth, smooth and colored gray. And we just read the part about blowholes where dolphins can breathe, right? And we know that dolphins have small teeth and pointy teeth, right? Small and pointy teeth. We just, we also read about flippers, flippers that helps dolphins swimming, right? So we just explored two different ways or two different text features that helps readers understand the book or helps us to learn about dolphins today, right? First, we look at the index page to find more information about dolphins. And second, we just look at the picture of dolphins to see and find different parts, different body parts of the dolphin, remember? Yes. So, readers, now let's discuss about the book. So, what new information did you learn about dolphins today? What new information did you learn about dolphins today? Let's think. Okay, readers, let's come back. I heard readers learned that dolphins can breathe air through the blowholes. Yes. And I also heard that readers learned that dolphins eat and swim all day in the ocean. Oh, and I also heard readers learned that dolphins eat small fish or, or little ocean animals. Yeah, we learned a lot about dolphins today. Then, readers, what did you find? most interesting about dolphins. What did you find most interesting about dolphins? Let's think. All right, let's come back. Oh, I heard that most interesting about dolphins was that we call baby cows how do we call baby cows? Yes, calves. But we also learned that we call baby dolphins calves, right? That was interesting. Oh, I heard readers that saying looking at the body parts of dolphins was interesting about dolphins. Great. So we found different interesting facts about dolphins and we learned so much about dolphins today. All right, readers, you did a great job focusing on reading and looking at pictures to learn more about dolphins in nonfiction book today. Great job. Give me a high five. Yay. So now it's time to learn vocabulary with Mrs. Villar. Hi, kindergartners. It's Mrs. Wheeler here for vocabulary lesson. How was your making meaning lesson with Miss Joy? Yeah, great. All right, after vocabulary, you're gonna have an IDR lesson with Ms. Joy again. Let's jump right in. In our last lesson together, we learned two new words from our book, dolphins. And the first word we learned was describe. Say it with me, describe. Remember that when we describe something, we tell someone about it or we talk about it. Maybe what it looks like, what it tastes like, we describe it. The other word that we learned was pointy. Say the word with me, pointy. When something is pointy, it is sharp, has a sharp tip, or it might hurt you if you touch it, like a needle or a claw or a pencil. Say the word one more time, pointy. Today, I'm gonna teach you two new words in our book all about dolphins. So let's look back at one of the pages you read with Ms. Joy. All right, in this part of the book here, 
It talks about the things that the dolphin eats. And I'm gonna reread this page to you. Dolphins eat small fish. They eat other little ocean animals too. This page is telling me about a dolphin's diet, the things they eat. A diet is what a person or an animal usually eats or drinks. It's describing that dolphins usually eat small fish and other small ocean animals. Here's our word card. Ready? Say the word with me. Diet. One more time. Diet. Here you have a picture of a cow. A cow's diet often includes grass. They eat grass. The diet is what you eat or drink. All right, I'm going to put this up for us. Now, picture a dog in your mind, or maybe you even have a dog as your pet. What do you know about a dog's diet? What does a dog usually eat? What does a dog usually drink? Right, I want you to turn and talk with your partner and get ready to share. Go ahead, turn and talk about a dog's diet. I heard kindergartners share that dogs usually eat dog food. And I also heard some of you share that dogs like to drink water and chew on bones. All right, now I have another question for you. Let's think about our own diet, what we usually eat and drink. I love to eat all kinds of fruit. That's the kind of food that I usually eat. I like, especially like strawberries. They're so tasty and they're so healthy for you. And something that I often drink as part of my diet, something I drink is water. I love to drink lots and lots of water so I can stay hydrated all throughout the day. Okay, now it's your turn. I want you to think about what foods or drinks are part of your diet. Like what is something you eat and drink most days? Think about breakfast, lunch, dinner, your snacks. Go ahead and I want you to think why? Why do you normally eat and drink those foods? Okay, you might use this to help your talking. You might say blank are parts of my diet because go ahead and turn and talk using this prompt. Go. Wow, we heard so many different kinds of foods and drinks. I heard lots of kindergartners sharing that rice is a part of their diet. I heard others sharing that they eat eggs and that lots of you shared you also drink water, but I heard milk and juice were also parts of your diets. All right, the word we just learned was diet. What an animal or person usually eats or drinks. Let's learn another word from our book, dolphins. In this part of the book, it's talking about dolphins being really playful and having lots of fun. I'm gonna read this page to you. Dolphins like to swim in the ocean. They play and eat all day. Dolphins like to be playful. The word we're learning today is playful. And dolphins are jumping. They like to play and have fun. Let's look at our vocabulary word card. Here's our word playful, say it with me. Playful, one more time, playful. Playful means when you are feeling playful, you are happy and full of energy. You are ready to play and have some fun. These kids are ready to play at recess or at the park. They're outside having lots of fun. They're feeling playful. They're smiling. They're running after each other. They are playful, just like our dolphins were being playful out in the ocean. All right, we're gonna play a game. Okay, are you ready? Okay, you need your thumbs, get ready. We're gonna play a game called, is Hector feeling playful or not playful? We have in my classroom and in lots of kindergarten classrooms, we have an imaginary friend named Hector. He helps us during vocabulary lessons. And I'm gonna tell you something that Hector is doing. You're gonna have to kind of visualize it. You might have to make a picture in your mind of what Hector's doing. Think about what it looks like, what you see in here. And then I want you, you can use your thumb, but I also want you to use your words. Remember, it's important to explain your thinking. So I'm gonna ask you some questions and you might share, Hector is, feeling playful because, or if you think he's not playful, thumbs down, you might say Hector is not feeling playful because, okay, are you ready? Okay, here's the first one. Think about it. 
Hector is cleaning his room. He is working hard and does not want to be bothered. Turn and talk. I heard you share Hector is not feeling playful because he's cleaning his room. He does not want to be bothered. Okay, here's another one. Hector is practicing addition. It is difficult for him, so he decides to keep working at it. Turn and talk. Is Hector playful or not and why? Again, I heard kindergartners with a thumbs down saying, Hector is not feeling playful because he's working on learning addition. And even though it's hard, he's still going. He's working and working hard. He's not feeling like being playful. Okay, here's another one. Hector sneaks up behind his sister. He taps her shoulder and runs away giggling. Is Hector playful or not and why? I see lots of you showing me thumbs up. Hector is feeling playful. He's tapping his sister on the shoulder. He's giggling and they're running away. It sounds like he wants to play and have fun. Okay, last one. Hector is playing kickball with his friends. He is having lots of fun. Hector, playful or not playful and why? I hear lots of kindergartners even showing me two thumbs up. Hector is feeling playful because he's running with friends. It says he's having lots of fun and playing a game of tag, just like these friends are playing as fun. Okay, let's review our two words we learned just today. Ready? I'm gonna use our pointer. When I point to it, I want you to say it. Ready? Diet. The diet means something an animal or person usually drinks or eats. Playful. When you're playful, you're having fun and you're ready to play. All right, kindergartners, thanks for working with me today on our vocabulary lessons. Get ready for IDR with Miss Joy. Okay, we'll see you later. All right, readers, it's time for independent reading. So in the last video, you chose and read a nonfiction book and thought about things in your book that surprised you, remember? Yes, or if it's your first time watching this video, it's okay. I'm going to show you what you need to do for your independent reading. Okay, so in today's independent reading, we're going to do the same thing, but you're going to choose another nonfiction book to read. Sound good? So you're going to choose and read another nonfiction book and think about the things that surprise you in the book. All right? So, and then after you finish story or reading the book, I want you to share what are the things that made you surprised with someone or what you read in the story. Because remember readers, it is so important to talk about what you read because it will help you to understand the book better, right? So first, you're going to choose the book and here's my nonfiction book. So you're going to choose the book and then read it first. And then second, you will find something that surprised you. And I'm reading it. Look at this. Oh, and I found something surprising or surprised me. Hummingbirds feed the fly all day. They are the only birds that can fly in any direction. They fly up, down, forwards and backwards. Ooh, this is surprising. This surprised me. So third, after you finish reading this book, reading your nonfiction book, you're going to write about it. So last thing you need to do after independent reading, you're going to write the things that surprised you. So you can get this paper from your lunch site or you can just use the blank paper. But make sure on the bottom you first write down I think something is surprising because something. So I wrote down, I think the skills is surprising because they are the only birds that can fly in any direction. So after I wrote down those sentences and then I drew the picture of hummingbirds flying any direction. You see it? 
So readers, first thing, choose the book and then read. And then second, make sure to share what you read with someone. And third, finish your writing activity. You got it? All right, readers, now it's your turn to do an independent reading. So here are some resources where you can find more books to read online. So you can go to online and visit the Seattle Public School website and then select Student Family Portal and click on Academic Tools to find more nonfiction books to read. So first you can go to Seattle Public Schools and then you can go to Seattle Public Library to find more nonfiction books. Or there is Pebble Go or you can go find more books in Tumble Books. And there are another online reading website. You can go to Scholastic Learn at Home or Storyline Online. Check out some more nonfiction books to read. All right, kindergartners, thanks so much for spending the day with us learning and thinking about books and using text features and learning what was surprising and wondering, wow, you did so much work today. Yeah, nice job, kindergartners. I'm so proud of you. You did a great whole body listening and part of the video and I'm so excited and ready to see you in the next video. Yep. All right. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.